vibe here is just one of fun and freedom and it's so great to like see those people like Ana Del Russo walking around in the big of Saint Laurent hat. Tell me what you've seen here and what's really excited you both. Love the Vogue Cafe, thought that was absolutely amazing. And I just took a look at the cover shoot which is also very cool, really exciting to be here. Walking around completely in love with everybody I see. I'm feeling so excited. Yeah, I mean, I'm such a huge fan of Vivian Westwood. I, I look at her and I just melt with admiration. So I run, I love the way she looks. So I, I love it. Into the future, I mean, there's so many interesting people around. I love like what everyone's wearing. I think it's a really good idea. Um, no, that was the last one to say the Alexa Chung, but I have to say the Natalie Massonet one was fabulous. Yeah. We could have listened to her for two hours. She had to cut stop short, but it was really, really good. Well worth it. Thank you for not giving me that job. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, honestly, if I would worked at Vogue, I would have never left. interesting as well. If you had to dress the Queen for a day, what would you put her in? I think she dresses really well. I what, don't think what she do you needs like about me. her style? Uh, she, always, she always has very cheerful colours. Yeah. Like, you know, lilacs and lemons and things. And if you look at the quality of her clothes, wow. Especially the tailoring, the coats. Yeah. They're amazing to be around. Um, Inspiring people, most of all, yeah, and uh, the, the talks and everything, yeah. I feel like in any creative thing, you, I always say to myself, you can never compromise. So whatever you want to do, just put your eye on it and then beeline it to it. Uh, this little girl, oh, whatever, they come with the freshness, the spontaneity to you and ask, can I do a portrait? And I think, this is really new. It was a new paparazzi for yeah. me. Um, we came for Natalie Massonet's talk and it was everything that we'd hoped and dreamed it was going to be. She's an incredible speaker as well as an incredible businesswoman. They, they made this event and I hope it's going to continue and we have more opportunity of course to get the uh, tickets. Yeah, we really want to see Cara. She's like, oh, I can't really, really, really look up to her. But... I kind of anticipate how scared I was going to be. Um, I mean, I've worked with all these guys a lot, but it was Obviously, it's something that's such a big deal, and I just, I wasn't prepared. I was like, I've, I've never, I felt like I'd started mobbing again. And I think that Sigourney Weaver and Lil' Kim, <laughs> so similar. <laughs> Same dress. And the funny thing is, I know that I do my job well when I talk about framing. I know I do my job well when I see women wearing something from me and it looks different on them. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's to me the most exciting thing. Sure. There's the experts, you can get a nice Tom Ford red lip done. And that's what's so fun, I think, everyone having their own personal vague experience. Yeah.